What's up guys, how's it going? Today I'd like to show you some books I got while I was in New York. I picked up some really nice stuff and I'd like to share with you today. So let's jump into it. First I'd like to show you some really, really rare editions of Jane Eyre. Let me put them here for you to see. These are 1893 GM Dent & Company um, in two volumes. They are part of a collection called The Novels of the Sisters Bronte in 12 volumes. It's a really hard to find editions with six illustrations by B.S. Gregg. Maybe I'll do, you know, I'll film them separately to show you. I'll definitely do an individual video for my Jane Eyre illustrated collection. But these are the oldest I own. They're really, really cool. And this is the second volume. They're you know, I love this pale pink color. I guess nowadays it is my favorite color. And the illustrations, they they have this, you know, protection here. The binding is still very tight. You know, I could perfectly uh, read this book. Of course, I won't be doing it. And I also got this copy here. Let me put cover here for you to see. It's a really interesting one. Uh, it's a rare 1911 G Bell and Sons edition. Very hard to find with 14 full page illustrations by MV Wheelhouse. And I've been hunting this copy for a while. It wasn't inexpensive, to be honest, but it's in an amazing condition. The illustrations are among my favorite Jane Eyre illustrations. They're really beautiful. Some of them are in color, some of them are in black and white. They are printed in coated paper. And for a 1911 copy, this book is in amazing condition. So I'm really glad that I got these copies. I got another two copies, but due to the weather in New York, the delivery was delayed and it ended up not getting them to the hotel so I'm negotiating with the sellers for them to send the copies here to Brazil but I also got these Folio Society copies of Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights they are from the 60s both of them have lithographs uh, Wuthering Heights has lithographs by Charles Kipping and these copies are from the from 1965, I guess. Yeah, they were released by the Folio Society in 1965. I've been hunting these copies too, but they are really easy to find, but not in a good shape, you know. I've seen a bunch of copies of Jane Eyre, this uh, copy here, with, you know, the spine broke and really dirty and soiled. And this lip case is also in perfect shape, you know. And these lithographs are absolutely beautiful. I'm really glad I got this uh, edition with Anthony Colbert lithographs. You won't be able to see it now, but I'll pro I promise I'll do an individual video showing these copies because they are amazing. That's it for vintage books. Let me show you what I got. Um, at Barnes & Noble and at Strand. First, at Barnes & Noble, and this, to be honest, I didn't got these in New York. I'm calling this video New York Book Hall, but I got these in Orlando. You know, I was at uh, Barnes & Noble and I saw it by chance. This is a little house a boxed set. You already know that I have um, two other boxes but this is the only one with full color illustrations. I was always like, I wish I could own a collection with the original illustrations. And this collection is a paperback collection. So you know that I'm not the biggest fan of paperbacks, you know, I prefer hardbacks, but um, the paper is nice. It's a heavy weight coated paper. The illustrations are full color illustrations and believe it or not the binding sewn so i guess they managed to do a nice job and i guess these are the original covers 
And here is the thing. I'm currently reading the fourth book. The third was absolutely amazing, my favorite so far. But due to some lack of background information or maybe because I'm from another culture, I had some difficulties understanding some stuff that were described. For example, I haven't seen, I don't think I have seen a log house life before. In the third book, uh, Laura describes how a log house were, uh, was built by her father. And so it was like, I'm, I wasn't sure, you know, how to imagine things. And these copies are um, fully illustrated. I'm, bunch of illustrations. Here I have the first five books. I still have to find the other ones. And of course we have Everyman's Library editions as always. Let me show you the Everyman's Library children's copy I got. This time I got Pinocchio. Really glad uh, I was able to find it at Strand. I paid, you know, just a fair price for it. And this copy has illustrations by Alice Carsey. So here we have. Pinocchio. I also picked up a Willa Carter book. I haven't read anything by Willa Carter, so I picked up My Antonia, which is really famous. I've been wanting to buy My Antonia for a while, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't like the copies that I've seen. I guess that for the price, this uh, was the best option, the best quality, you know, when it comes to um, the single novel. I consider myself kind of fan of F. Scott Fitzgerald because The Great Gatsby is one of my favorite books and I wanted to read another book by him. I haven't. And I wanted to buy more books, you know, to get to know his other works. There are some really pretty ones by Peggy, you know, but the quality itself is not great. The paper and the binding is glued. And you already know I'm a big fan of um, this collection because of the quality of the paper and the binding, you know, cloth bound, really um, tasteful in my opinion. Pretty, if you haven't watched another video um, by me, maybe you don't know this. But I also wanted to buy, and I went to Strand with this intention to buy uh, the manuscript facsimile copy of The Great Gatsby, released by Edition de Saint-Père recently. And I went there, I was with the copy was uh, in my hands and I ended up deciding not to spend uh, that kind of money because, uh, you know, it, was, it wasn't easy to read uh, to me. It wasn't easy to read um, his manuscript, you know. It wasn't as clean as the Jane Eyre manuscript I got uh, the last year. So I was thinking, oh my God, so much money maybe I should restrain myself because I don't think I'll be able to read this manuscript pleasantly as I believe I would do um, uh, with the Jane Eyre manuscript in the future, you know. So just as a consolation prize, I got this side of the paradise, but what I really wanted was the Great Gatsby, the manuscript. Uh, I arrived home and I found two copies that I got here. I got this Harry Potter, the British Library exhibition. Many people, um, I, I guess you already know, the History of Magic is the title. And this copy is really beautiful. I'm collecting Harry Potter really slowly because I think that when you buy a book that was recently released, you end up paying so much money for it. Um, there are a bunch of sales of Harry Potter related stuff. So I always wait for a nice price. So I've seen this on the sale and I picked it up. I also got this East of the Sun, West of the Moon copy illustrated by Kay Nielsen. This is a Tastian book, a really pretty one. I've seen this book first at Mimi's channel and most recently um, a new channel called Daisy Banana Books mentioned this book, recommending it. So I've seen it here on the sale, so I picked it up. And finally, I'll show you two books here in Portuguese, but the first one is a book originally written in Japanese. This is um, The Book of the Five Rings. The Book of Five Rings, I guess, is the title in English. I've read this book twice. I really, really like it. So these copy in Portuguese was recently released, a hardcover. It was really, 
really inexpensive. And I also picked up a book that is on my 2018 reading project. If you haven't watched this video, I put it here for you to watch. This is The Hour of the Star by Clarice Lispector, Brazilian author. Um, this is a special edition. It has parts of her manuscript. Um, it's a really pretty edition and really, really inexpensive. Really glad that nowadays I've been uh, seeing some inexpensive, good quality copies here in Brazil. I hope this is a trend that will um, continue. So guys, I guess that's it. These were the last books I got. I'm waiting for a slightly foxed order to arrive at my Folio Society haul during the New Year's sale. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to this channel, here I talk more about uh, book collecting and hard copies of books. The majority of books I'm reading nowadays are classics. So if you enjoy classics and children's classics, um, consider subscribing and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button i guess that's it see you guys in the next video bye